Welcome to The Five, where we cover different topics from news, media, and pop culture. During a recent sit-down with the Shade Room, renowned singer and songwriter, Kay Michelle, shared her candid thoughts on relationships, shedding light on an eight-year-long partnership that came to an unexpected end. In a heartfelt conversation, she revealed the pivotal moment that led her to reevaluate the dynamics of her romantic life. Two weeks prior to the interview, Kay Michelle made the difficult decision to end an eight-year relationship. When asked about the reason behind this abrupt shift, she described a moment when her partner said something that left her feeling small and dismissed. The impact of his words was so profound that it prompted her to reevaluate the relationship entirely. Like I could take a lot of shit and I, you know, I'd be trying to ride and all this stuff and stuff, but I ain't gonna die, child. <laughs> like you know, if you say something and it snap, and I just cry immediately, now you don't need that much power over me. Without delving into specific details, Kay Michelle explained that the comment was not only dismissive, but also made her question her worth as a woman. This encounter, she emphasized, was a stark departure from the person she had always believed her partner to be. It was a pivotal moment that ultimately led her to take the courageous step of ending the relationship. During the conversation, Kay Michelle touched on a significant revelation she had received from her former partner. He had pointed out the difference between a good guy and a nice guy. She explained that a good person is authentic and consistent, while a nice person may adapt their behavior to fit various situations. This newfound understanding played a crucial role in her decision-making process. It was very dismissive. Okay. It was very dismissive of who I am as a woman and um, what I was dealing with. It was very like, I always saw him as like a good guy. Okay. And he, he said something the very same day. He said, there's a difference in a good guy and a nice guy. And I thought I, I missed that up. Okay. I missed it up. Wow. Reflecting on her experiences, Kay Michelle expressed a samba perspective on men in general. She stated that she believes men are not good people, and that many men are not raised to be fundamentally good people, attributing this to a lack of proper upbringing. Many may recall the singer sharing her thoughts on this in a prior interview. Everything that I've gone through has been because of lack of self-esteem and men being in the middle. I don't think men are good people. Um, the reason for that, and I truly believe that, the reason for that is, like, for men to do things that they consider small in the flesh of, like, cheating, mm -hmm. you know that that's going to destroy your partner, but you do it anyway. That's not a mistake. We've watched the same story over and over, over, and over again. again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just because I'm a woman, I'm supposed to accept your betrayal. Right. Because you're taking advantage of my love for you, and I'm supposed to just be the one behind you riding or dying. I'm not dying with nobody. And to see girls come up to me, I'm the girl they come up to all day long crying. Mm. They tell me the most disgusting of stories that I couldn't even believe. And a lot of times men, the wrong man, will stunt your growth as a woman. So, Women could be doctors, lawyers, and everything, yeah. but they're in the bed crying over what a man did to them. When asked about her love language, Kay Michelle revealed that acts of service resonate with her the most. Material possessions hold little significance compared to the tangible efforts put forth by a partner. It remains to be seen if the singer will go through with officially ending the eight-year relationship. Nevertheless, in this candid conversation, Kay Michelle provided a glimpse into her personal journey of love, heartbreak, and self-discovery. Her experience serves as a reminder that relationships are complex, and finding one's true love language can be a transformative process. As she embarks on a new chapter, Kay Michelle's story offers insights into the importance of self-worth, authenticity, and the pursuit of genuine connections. Thanks for watching. Leave all respectful thoughts and comments down below, and subscribe to The Five for more content.